Hey everybody, this is the next part in the Bioshock Infinite. I'm um, sorry if the audio might be kind of, you know, messed up from the last part going in this part, because I'm doing this part a couple days later. Anyway, here we go with these guys who are like zealots or something. They scared the mess out of me when I first saw them, so I was like, ah! And then started shooting. Anyway, you're going to see these guys just tear me to pieces. No, actually no, because they actually fought with their fists, so I had a little bit of an advantage because I had the pistol and the skyhook so I was doing decent until they started beating the crap out of me with these got yeah, pipes from somewhere or wrenches are those wrenches? I don't even know but if they are you know they, that they bought them from Jack so let's get so that's basically what they did anyway let me explain some um technical difficulties I had with this had with this video um it's gonna get cut off now I was playing and I forgot to plug my computer in to you know to save the battery so the thing runs out of battery at about 11 minutes so I just made this one part and it got kind of screwed up but you guys didn't miss too much because it's the part where I went in um, the tower and saw Comstock's video or something I don't even remember but you know, it get, yeah it got kind of screwed up but you didn't miss too much and right now you can see I'm struggling with the devil spit. And I am in the process of playing Assassin's Creed 1. Yes, I'm a, I decided that I'm probably going to do the whole series and record it. So that means 1, 2 of Brotherhood Revelations 3 and 4 coming out in, I think, September or something. It looks, it looks like it's going to be epic. I mean, I mean, who wouldn't want Blackbeard the pirate in the game, you know? Um, but anyway, here we go again. As it, t as it gives me tips on how to shoot because it notices that I'm shooting like crap. Um, but you know, I got a, I got a lot better later on. I should not have played this game on difficult because I wasn't prepared, you know. <laughs> I just wasn't prepared. I know Bioshock 1 was tough and all that. It was tough on normal, but I just underestimated this game. Because I noticed that, you know, games are becoming a lot easier in my opinion. Um, for instance, Call of Duty 2 on Veteran, um, you know, with the D-Day mission and all that, came out about 2006, 2005-ish, that game was tough. I mean, if you put that game on Veteran, <laughs> you step outside, you get hit in two shots, you're dead. Sometimes one shot with a sniper. Let's wait, let me see if I get the shield upgrade, or health upgrade. I think I do. I completely missed the upgrade right there on the <laughs> desk, so no wonder why I was so weak. But anyway, Call of Duty 2, if you play down veteran, it's like impossible to beat. And then you get a gamer score. I mean, you get an achievement for like 150 when you beat it. 60 per campaign mission that you beat or something like that. It was crazy. It was awesome, but I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it, so I just gave up on that. You would have to have time and the patience to play that game on veteran. But like when, you know, the Modern Warfare's come out, Modern Warfare 2 on Veteran, it was much easier. I mean, you just run through the game. Um, I didn't do it personally, but I think my, um, I forget who did it. Someone I know did it. I mean, someone I know ran through the game. Isn't that the eye on the dollar bill? I'm not even sure. Uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, but you could run through Modern Warfare 2 and like, no problem. Um, on Veteran. It's easy to complete, easier, easier, not easy, but easier to complete that game on veteran. I don't know if, like, it's because maybe in, like, Call of this is why I discovered that you can get money from these. Maybe, like, Call of Duty 2, the weapons weren't as up, weren't as, you know, new and technologically advanced as in Modern Warfare 2, but still, it was much easier. But, um, uh, I only got, like, 16 bucks from that guy, 13 bucks. It wasn't even really worth it. But we're seeing more and more of these eyes on, like, on the projectors and stuff. And I wonder if... Yeah, you see this bird stuff all over the table. I wonder if that eye will become significant in the ending of this game. Because you guys know I still haven't beaten this game yet. I wonder if that eye will show something later. Because it keeps showing. As you can see, they have an Indian man up there now. And they just had, like, some other thing. I don't know. I haven't... Maybe not. I'm not sure. But as we continue through this, you know, once again, you can see I'm low on salts and health. Uh, you guys have be, you guys have come accustomed to that. <laughs> Me being struggling and low on stuff, and I'm gonna let this box of phone play. Sweet mother of Columbia, 
Why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword, so that we might avenge you. We worship the raven, so that we might cover the city with eyes. We worship the coffin, because it symbolizes the weight of our faith. Okay, and now we discover a secret passageway. This is somewhere where we find, I think it's our first pair, our uh, first piece of gear. So let's look at this. I had no idea what this was. I thought like <laughs> when you would put the gear on, you would, you know, your appearance and like the first person view would be changed. Like kind of like when Jack had to put the big daddy stuff on, like the helmet and his stuff. And his view was like a big circle, like the big daddy's face. That's what I thought happened. And you can see something happen right there to the food. I'm not even sure. What what happened in here? But yeah. So we're just gonna continue out. We keep pressing the up button. I don't know why. But so far, with the amazement of this game, I rate this actually a ten out of ten. Just far. Right here we discovered a murder of crows. Which is, I was like, dang. Yep, this is one of those sequences. This reminds me of, what was that place in, um, dang, what was the name of that place in Bioshock 1? It was like a garden. Uh, it was, it was, um, it was that place where Sinclair was. Dang, it's on the tip of my tongue, guys. I totally forget the name of that place. It was like a garden, and it was like this... It didn't even look like Rapture while you were in there. You got rid of that claustrophobic feeling. It was Fort something. Fort Frolic or something like that. Something like that. I think that was a level when you had to fight like this ghost guy. This guy rem reminds me of that guy. But this guy shoots crows of course. And has looks like a coffin on his back. I'm not even sure. I was trying to set the traps and you can see I was getting my A beat when I was trying to do it. But um... On easy difficulty, I think these guys drop easily. I think you can beat them easily. On easy. I'm not even sure. Easily on easy. <laughs> but, I found that, like, this, the devil's, I said, if I say devil spit, excuse me if I say devil spit, it just reminds me of, like, that hot sauce from that place. <laughs> but you see, I got murdered by the guy. But the devil's kiss works kind of good on him. Because, like, you can see, like, because the fire stays on him, you can see, like, you can see him better. Um, other than that, the bucking, actually, the bucking bronco works best on this guy, but unfortunately, we do not have the bucking bronco. We just have this, so I tried to get him to walk through the fire trap, and it worked and got him. So you can see Devil's Kiss is actually pretty good. And we get the Murder of Crows drink, which was in the pre-beta version of this game, but it was in a much different occasion. It was totally different, actually, because he was, like, on a building or something. Like, he was hanging off the ledge of a building, because he shot this guy. I mean, he hit this guy named Charles off the edge of the balcony or something. See, I hope that those guys in the DLC or something. I think his name was... Their name was Charles and Saltonstall or something. But that mission looked awesome, because, like, you had to ride the skyline while you get shot at... While he was shooting you with the cannon, it, just, it looked exhilarating, you know. And of course, these guys had to come in here and wreck the flow. While I tried to uh, use the murder of crows, and you can see it's working. That's why I like this murder of crows so much. And you see me use it later on in the game a lot, is because it is so easy. I mean, it it like um it, it buys you time to reload and get your bearings together, you know. And guys, I just realized that this is not the video that gets cut off. It's actually the next video, I think. I'm not even sure anymore. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just stupid. I'm really, really stupid. It's one of these videos where it gets cut off, but I don't believe it's this one. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You know. And this is the part with more hooks. More, and more hooks coming up now. Um, yeah, so we attach the hooks again. 
Yeah, and this actually like this is where Booker learns. I, I think he learned it before that these things are actually magnetized. So I guess that's how he can jump so insanely high on the skyline. <laughs> 